This is a Delta shower head. It's called the Intuition 2-in-1. Um, I think you can see a picture of it there. The box is sealed, so I can't open it. But it's a, it's a used item, but it just was basically fit into somebody's bathroom and they decided they didn't want it and took it out. I don't think any water was run through it. But the threads got a little bit chewed up. It's got plastic threads, but it still all goes together just fine. So, I, But I had to note that. Put it up for 100 bucks. Only really got message from people who were angry that I was trying to get 100 bucks for it. So after about a year, I decided to lower it down to 49.95, and it sold. This is a Panasonic Auto Stop electric pencil sharpener, desk style. And just found this at a tag sale, yard sale, a couple weeks ago. I paid a dollar for it and uh, just sold it for 17 bucks. This is a Hitchcock style reverse painted or reverse stenciled mirror. This bowl here is uh, painted from the back in a, with a stencil. <clears throat> this is modeled after a kind of popular Hitchcock style, but this one isn't true Hitchcock, but it's in that style. It's, it's old, but I don't think it's terribly, terribly really old. It's a hall mirror. It's not too big. It's probably about a foot and a half tall by a foot across. And I see these at auction all the time, these kind of hall mirrors. And uh, one day I just decided to buy a couple of them. And I've been sitting on them for about eight months now. And this is the first one that sold. I think I paid about $10 each for the two. And this one here, I took a best offer of $90 for. This is a Sony PS2 or PlayStation 2 slim console. Got this for free, just the cord, this the cord and the cord that goes into the television and I've been just parting them out. The cords have sold and this has remained. Um, I have no way of really testing it. I was able to power it on. It does seem like it worked but I basically am selling it as is for parts. Um, put it up for $17.95 and just got lots and lots of questions. People just asking if I'd do better on the price to get it for $5. And finally it did sell. Um, on Bonanza for the full price $17.95 so thanks Bonanza for helping me get rid of this thing. This is some Canon ink for some Canon printers. This I got from a from the camera auction when they were liquidating a retail camera shop at the local auction place and I pretty much bought a whole table of new in the box stuff. It was a lot of lens hoods and battery grips and I've been selling that stuff pretty regularly. This stuff here I was hoping I'd be to sell, send in to Amazon sell through FBA but Amazon doesn't let you sell Canon unless you are an authorized reseller. So I'm selling it on eBay. People sell this stuff really, really cheap. So it's hard to make any money at it. But I set a price usually about two to three times higher and it does sell. People will still buy from me, uh, just a little bit slower. But that's the only way I find to make it worth my while. But uh, this one here sold for $12 and this one here sold for $19. This is another uh, UMass Amherst police department auction item. It's basically somebody lost this on campus, it was turned in, nobody claimed it, and after a certain period of time they uh, basically send it to auction, so it ended up at my local auction house. There was a whole bunch of watches there, and um, I bought about a lot of about a half dozen watches, some pretty decent nice watches, um, nothing really amazing, but uh, this was one of them. Um, this one here is a Casio G-Shock. It's in really good condition. It still works. Um, it's very clean overall. And I put this up for $49 and I might have accidentally had best offer on it. Cause somebody sent me an offer and I worked back and forth with them and finally got to $40. And uh, I was fine with selling it for $40. So I've got probably another five watches uh, from that lot still up and ready to go. This is a set of four rocker switches. Vintage. The person who likes to build their own electronics equipment. They have a satisfying action. Not a lot of money in these because there are modern ones out there nowadays. And so these sold for $15. And these came in a huge lot that I bought of electronic components that somebody had collected probably in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And I've been selling through that stuff for the last three years or so. And I'll don't really have much really good stuff left, but every once in a while I'll pull some things out and list it. And these were them. This is a pair of Maxell Type 2 blank cassette tapes. They're still sealed, as you can see here. And these I got at a walk-around auction. They were in a shoebox under the table full of just 
recorded on media and blank cassette tapes. And I think I paid two bucks for the whole box, and there's probably about 50 tapes in there. Not all of them were new like this, still sealed. A lot of them are recorded on, but they're still pretty decent quality tapes, so I will probably sell those as they are when I get around to them. Um, learned about these through Steve Schultz's What Sold videos, so a big thanks to him for pointing out blank media like this. At the last auction I went to, they had a really nice tray lot of perfume. It was all very high-end stuff. The person's estate that they were auctioning off obviously had money because there was a lot of really nice things in this estate from some very high-end stores. And the tray lot had about 15 to 20 bottles of perfume, all 90% full or brand new, unused. Uh, this one here is uh, looks like probably, probably about 95% full, or maybe even maybe even uh, completely full. I'm not sure. It's Balmain, if I'm pronouncing that right, a French um, perfume. It is vintage, and this one here sold for $70. Now I paid $160 for this lot, so I'm still a little bit underwater. But there's a lot of really nice stuff. I've listed about three quarters of it so far, and a lot of the bottles are being listed for $100 or more. I have one bottle up that's for $350, so I'm not too worried about getting my money back on this lot. It may take a little while, but it'll come. This is a vintage sterling silver photo locket. Opens. There. Two halves. It's marked as sterling. It also has a sterling chain. It's marked sterling in Italy. And this I got at an auction um, it was a lot of sterling necklaces. I probably got about 20 necklaces, maybe about a buck a piece. And this one here sold for 25 bucks. This is a pair of 3-inch pewter candlesticks. They're not terribly old. They've got a elephant and kind of a jungle motif going on. Felt bottom. And they got some scratches on the top, which I documented in the listing, so they're not perfect. But I picked these up at a yard sale locally, paid probably a dollar or two for them, and these sold for 23 bucks. I'm always looking for candlesticks. You can never go wrong with candlesticks. If they're interesting and unique, there's always somebody out there looking for them. This is a large specimen of iron pyrite. It's uh, very pretty. Weighs about a pound. And I picked these up at auction. I got it's kind of a old, some of these rock collection. And it's mostly amethyst and quartz and pyrite. Big pieces like this. And there's probably about 40 pieces in there. Paid about 50 bucks for the whole collection. And this is the first piece to sell. I really haven't put a lot of it up. It's kind of time consuming. I'm not very excited by it anymore, unfortunately. But um, this piece here sold for $20. This is an antique book called General Lee's Book on Cuba, published in 1896. It's around a period of time when the United States seemed to be getting very interested in historical stuff around the Civil War. So this book is full of photos of interest and illustrations from that time period, um, centering mainly around Cuba. But the interesting thing about this book is it's actually a salesman copy. And so this is not the complete book. And it shows you kind of what the back spine would look like if you were to order this book, the cover design. Um, it's got little basically uh, information about the, you know, what you'll get if you ordered the whole book. And in the back, there's a little roster where I guess these door-to-door -door salesmen would fill in the sales. And you can see some of these pages have been ripped out. It's their name, their street address. Very interesting, and I thought it would be worth more, given uh, just given its uniqueness. And so I had it up for 80, and I got really no interest in it. And finally, I took a best offer of 39 dollars. Uh, this book's been long paid for. It was an, a, an auction of other old books from this time period. This is a battery grip for a Canon camera. It's in the box. I got this at a camera auction, which I mentioned in some earlier videos, where I bought a couple tables worth of um, new in the box type stuff, mainly Canon kind of stuff like this that I could resell. And I didn't pay very much for it, which is, it was a great, great auction. And this piece here sold for $33. And I listed it as used because 
Um, it's pretty obvious the box was open and it looks like it may have been kind of a customer trial um, unit that they let customers put it on their camera just to make sure they liked how it fit and everything. So I probably could have got a little bit more money if I listed it as new in the box, but I, li I just like to be very upfront with people so there, there's no surprises. So a book sold. And this here sold through Amazon. Merchant Fulfilled. So not officially an eBay sale, but since I am going to be shipping it along with everything else, I figured I would include it in this video. And I do sell quite a bit on Amazon, but mainly through the FBA program. Um, I actually sell more on Amazon FBA than I do on eBay. Anyhow, this book I received for free. It was a review copy from the publisher. My wife and I, we run a knitting website and we occasionally receive books to review, potentially to to get them the stock for sell or to just uh, promote them on our website and so I got this book for free and it's a kind of it's out of print nowadays it's kind of obscure and I sold it for 25 bucks and Amazon gave me a four dollar shipping credit and then after all their fees I basically received twenty three dollars and eighty five cents and then it's probably gonna cost me about 350 or so to ship this so basically made about 20 bucks